Hey guys, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Akutia Benhini. If you're seeing me for the very first time, you're welcome. If you're a tennis subscriber, hey boo, a uh, hey boo, a uh, what it do? Welcome back. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos so now in today's video what you guys are going to be getting is a tutorial on this beautiful holiday full face makeup look this my loves is what i call photo ready party ready event ready holiday ready cash ready you know i say this is this is so beautiful this is such an easy full face makeup look so this look is something that i'm certain that you guys are gonna love um so please if you're interested please keep on watching the video so you get the full tutorial and full details of everything that i use to create this look right here okay and also a link to this hair will be down below as always so if you're interested in this hair i'll link it down below plus a video of this hair installation and everything will be down below so not gonna talk too much guys i don't want you guys to be bored with my intro already okay i want you to do the look get into the look get into the look <laughs> so without further ado my loves let's get right into the video okay guys so First things first, skin prep. Very, very essential to your look. It's essential to making your look last long and also making your makeup turn off flawless. Letting, making. <laughs> so basically, skin, skin prep is very important when it comes to makeup. You always wanna do skin prep. You always wanna protect the skin underneath before you put your makeup over it, okay? So skin prep here is done okay <laughs> skin prep here is done now we're gonna go ahead and get straight into doing the makeup first things first i'm gonna pick my primer for primer i'm using the red beauty um, primer this is the pore diffusing primer by selena gomez so as always I always say this, you want to focus your primer in areas where you actually need it. So this is a pore diffusing primer, so I only need it in areas where I have pores. So as you guys can see, I'm applying this in the areas where I have large pores. I love this primer, see? It literally looks like a moisturizer when you use it. So I love, love, love this primer. Now what you want to do with your primer, especially a primer that's gel based like this, you want to wait for it to get tacky, okay, tacky, tacky. <laughs> you want to wait for it to get a little tacky or you want to wait for your skin to proper absorb the primer. That way it's a perfect base for you to put your foundation over or whatever you want to put on top. But you want to wait a little with your primer, okay? So just, you know, like a few seconds, see? It doesn't look as shiny and then the more time you give it the more your skin absorbs the primer so primer is all set and ready I mean primer is ready so the next thing that I'm gonna do is set my primer I'm gonna use my physicians formula this is the physicians formula butterscotch mattifying powder I will tag them down below I have a link um, an affiliate link so if you care to know or if you care to um, shop for physicians formula always refer back to Akosia, okay? I have an affiliate link, so you can use my link to shop, and yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to set my primer, and for full face, this is what I always do. If you have watched some of my full face tutorials, you will see that always with my full face makeup looks, I set my primer, so, and I like this powder because it's lightweight, as you guys can see, super, super lightweight so it doesn't do too much i don't like to set my primer in a way that's going to make my face look white or in a way that is going to totally like affect the shade that i have going on see what i'm saying so i always go for um <clears throat> so if i'm ever going to set my primer i like to use powders that's like lightweight and something that is not going to look over the top okay so see that immediately takes the shine away but I also kind of don't like to take all of my shine away if you've noticed if you've been watching my tutorials you know that I like to have a balance of like you know just a little bit of glow and also just 
a little bit of mattifying it kind of doesn't make sense but it makes sense trust me just watch me do my makeup <laughs> so next thing that I'm gonna do is my foundation okay I'm um, for foundation I'm gonna use the NYX Born to Glow I haven't used this bad girl in a long time this is in the shade cocoa if you use me as a shade reference this is in the shade cocoa this is my winter shade so in summer I'll use a shade a little darker than this maybe a shade like a step down darker and with my foundation what I always do is I use a brush to apply and then I go over it with a beauty blender to finish it up So next I'm going to take my beauty blender and just press that in. The next thing that I'm going to go in with is my contour. This is the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade number one. I don't know why I keep saying okay. <laughs> I guess that's just... <laughs> so that's what I do for my chin if you want an in-depth um, concealer and contour video I'm gonna link some down below so you can check that out but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and use my brush to blend <laughs> so next i'm going to go in with my concealer this is also from juvia's place it's their concealer stick in the shade namibia This concealer is very beautiful. Okay, this concealer is very beautiful. It's nice and full coverage, but so easy to work with. What I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll leave it on for just about 30 seconds ish, just so that it gets nice and tacky, so I can get the proper full coverage look because that's what I'm going for. So, yeah. okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and use the beauty blender and just blend that. Matter of fact, I'll just leave my under eye for a little more and do the other areas because I want my under eye to get like the proper full coverage. But you see how beautiful this concealer is because this cream, it gives you the best finish, literally the perfect skin like finish that you want with your product. So if you haven't tried a cream concealer before, I'd say that you definitely should try it because it gives you such a nice finish. It gives you such a beautiful, professional look. I'm sure if you haven't watched my concealer video, you're probably asking so many questions. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing the blender? This? What you just need to do is go back and watch my concealer and contour video. A lot of things will make sense to you as to why I do my concealer and my contour the way that I do it. So 
that's done now next I'm gonna go ahead and use my powder this is the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder absolute fave I'm gonna use that to set my face I'm using the same beauty blender by the way I'm just gonna flip over to a side that doesn't have so much product and then I'll use that If you want a good drugstore setting powder, um, loose setting powder I mean, that is going to last the whole day, make you looking expensive, make people thinking that you have luxury products on, then definitely check out the Maybelline loose setting powder. This stuff is such a bad boy, okay? I'm going to go ahead and set the parts of my face that I contoured and um, I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Butter Holly Fame Collection. Okay guys, so all of that is set now. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I'll do that off camera and then I'll come back and then we'll do the eyes together. Okay, brows are done. Ignore today's brows, okay? Today's not brow day, okay? So let's just ignore what she's looking like. <laughs> um, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the eye. For the eye area, I'm gonna use my concealer. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade 415. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a small blending brush to blend that. Then I'm going to take the beauty blender and just further blend that. And then I'm going to go ahead and set that with my mattifying powder. Okay, so for eyes, I'm also going to go into the Physician's Formula Butter Holly Fame collection. I love this stuff. It's so gigantic, okay? Um, it has everything that you need. It has a set of eyeshadow palettes. It has a set of bronzers and highlighters. And then it has a set of blush. So... Um, like I said, if you're interested, I'll link this down below. This is actually part of their holiday collection. So this is something that you can gift a loved one. It's literally perfect if you give me this. If you gift me this for Christmas, girl, you're done. I'm done. You're done. I love you. <laughs> because, you know, like it has everything. So to me, anyone who's a makeup junkie will love this. Anyone who's a beauty addict will love this so much because what is better than getting everything in one palette you know what i'm saying so now i'm gonna go ahead and get into the eyeshadow section which is the section in the center i'm gonna use this brown shade first see this stuff is such a pretty brown shade i'm actually gonna use these two colors side by side i'll use this as a transition shade and then use that as um, the crease shade so i'm gonna use my sasha this is sasha buttercup wait sasha buttercup did i really say sasha buttercup i haven't seen that brand in like forever this is sonia cash hook <laughs> sonia cash uk sonia cash uk this is your blending crease brush this stuff is really nice eyeshadow I feel like I don't mention my brushes as much when I'm doing my makeup process so now I'm gonna be doing that I will mention the brush if it has a name or if it has a brand that I can share with you guys I should mention it so I will okay so now taking the orange shade this is how it looks like on the brush um, my face is too pretty so the camera just wants to focus on me <laughs> but that's how it looks like on the brush and I'm very certain that it will look good <laughs> I'm very certain that it will look good in person also low-key I'm trying this out for the first time so I'm doing that with you guys cuz why not you know so I'm just gonna put this in my grease oh oh cool 
<laughs> I love it. I haven't even started blending, but I know that this is gonna look pretty. It is such a nice, rich, um, I'd say, dirty orange shade. It's giving you orange, but it's giving you the color of mud, you know? And it also shows up really nicely on dark skin. Plus on camera, it's translating just how it's translating in the mirror, so I love that. So that's what that looks like, which is very pretty for a transition shade. Um, and then now I'm gonna go in with my Cree shade. The brush that I'm using is the Vita Joseph Deluxe Blender brush. This is G G275 Deluxe Blender from Evita. Evita Joseph is a Ghanaian brand. If you care to know, I will link it down below. I mean, I'll link the brand down below so you can check them out. They have pretty much some of the best brushes. <laughs> I use um, quite a number of their brushes. As and when I do, I'll show you guys. But I'm gonna use a Deluxe Blender brush to go into the brown shade. And then I'll use a brown shade as the crease shade. I'm really excited to see how this will look because you know, this is the biggest argument ever when it comes to makeup. Which brand is doing the perfect brown shade that will suit a black girl? We still don't know. I mean, <laughs> we still really don't. I mean, Jackie Anna did that. Jackie Anna did that. I'll give it to him. I'll just put it here. Okay. Um, <laughs> first impressions, I'm not impressed because how it looks like in the palette, it looks so nice and rich and like so chocolatey. You think that it's gonna turn out like that on your eyelid. Um, but I think it needs a few more blends. I tell you guys every time that no palette is really bad. You just need to build on color. So I'm gonna do that. So that's what it looks like. It's giving really nice, subtle chocolate color. Um, so it just doesn't give you like deep, deep, deep black. No, brown I mean. It doesn't give you deep brown. It gives you a nice, subtle chocolate brown. See, which is also very sweet. We like a sweet, sweet, subtle chocolate, um, but we also like our deep browns. But if you're going for like a really nice, subtle brown, then this palette is gonna work because it has a lot of that. And I always tell you guys that with eyeshadow, if you want to see more pigment, if you want to see more shade, you should do more taps, okay? Instead of just brushing immediately when you pick up the product, place the product, tap, 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 and then brush. Tap, 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 and then blend. See what I'm saying? So, also if you're interested, I'll link an eyeshadow video down below, an in-depth tutorial, beginner friendly gonna be down below so you can check it out so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my crease shade which is gonna be a glitter shade as you already have seen I'm just confused as to what glitter to use because it has quite a number <laughs> it has a lot of glitter shades oh do you guys see all of this beauty okay so the glitter shade that I'm gonna use is called sightseeing such a pretty gold shade i think i already showed you let me show you again yeah this one right here is the shade that i'm gonna use now what i'm gonna do is i'm not actually gonna cut my crease so i'll just place the shade but i'll place it in the way that it looks like i've cut my crease see what i'm saying i'll place it in the direction that it's gonna go that it's gonna make it look like i cut my crease but i didn't actually cut my crease i'm using a flat brush this is um, elf elf eyeshadow brush it's just a flat fluffy brush um, I think this should work perfectly for what I needed to do right now so that's what I'm using so see I'm gonna use this brush to take some of the shade 
and then just go along the lines and sort of define the crease so you see I really just wanted to sort of carve it out and then I also want to define the inner corner And then I'm going to take this brush and then go back into the brown shade and then just finish off the eyelid. This is literally what I envisioned. It's crazy. Like when you envision an eye look, I didn't see it anyway. I just thought I wanted to go for a nice soft eye look with some red lips. This is literally what I wanted. Like, it is literally what I wanted. I'm so happy that um, the vision came to life, you know? <laughs> So this is exactly the reason why I didn't want to cut my crease because I didn't want the shimmer shade to be proper defined. I wanted to give it, you know, such a nice blend, which was going to look like this, literally like this. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that area. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom part of my eye. I'm gonna go ahead and take the orange shade the one that I used as the first transition shade I'll take that and then I'll just use that to blend out some brown so that's that okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same process on this eye so guys that is literally it for the eye look not gonna lie this is literally the vision that I had so this is what it looks like highlighter I am gonna use the shades that they have in here <gasps> she's so pretty but she's a lot oh, she is so pretty she's so battery oh my goodness she is really so pretty you guys see that Do you see that? It is so pretty. Ooh. She's showing up. She's showing up. And then next I'm gonna go in with my ever true, ever true, ever true, true, true. <laughs> oh, I love. See, the blush with the highlighter, a combo of the two is just doing something to me. On See how battery my skin looks? It looks so nice and so pretty. Okay, it does. This is my powder foundation. I love this stuff because it literally solves my every makeup problem. She is. Okay, she's literally going to solve every problem that you have. So, that... Now when I get to my under eye, I just do the swiping. If you've been here for a while, you should know that I do that. I don't know how I got some glitter here, um, but I don't know. Oh, it's giving. It's giving. I feel like I want to bring the brightness under my eye back. So I'm just going to go into my powder and then just like, you know, press it in. Just a little bit, nothing extra. I mean, I know I'm being extra and then I'm saying nothing extra, but you get what I'm saying. See, that's what I want. <laughs> so see, just a little something like that. And then I'll take my brush again and then just sort of sweep 
um, the excess powder and just like that we're back in business that's what i'm talking about okay so that's a quick way to fix your under eye if you feel like your powder sort of took away all of you know the zhuzhness <laughs> i don't even know what i'm saying but you know exactly what i'm trying to say if you want to bring life back into your bright under eye after doing a whole process this should make it work i'm gonna elevate the eye look just by doing a simple thing a very simple thing and this is a trick for christmas i mean for holidays or for when, whenever you want to do your makeup and you don't want to do too much with your eye area but you still want it to make a statement this is what you got to do so i'm gonna take this um this is nyx this is the nyx glide on slide on that's literally what it's called right slide on glide on stay on and definitely a turn on <laughs> why would you say that slide on glide on and definitely a turn on i like that i love that so this is basically um a waterline waterline um eye liner yeah the waterline liner um but this is in the shade green is it green what is the shade mama this is green um tropical so tropical green it has some glitter to it it's so pretty what i'm gonna do is use that to line my waterline and this is literally going to switch my whole look up okay maybe up or in between but it will switch it some way do you guys see that look at the difference between that and then this eye this literally looks like a whole different eye look and then this also looks like a whole different eye look so um that's the way to switch up your eye look if you really want to you can get different shades of pencil colors and just use that to be doing your waterline and that alone that in itself is like a whole eyeshadow game on its own you know so if you're not the type to do like eyeshadow eyeshadow waterline pencils you should have like an extensive range of colors or shades that you can use to you know play with and make your eye look look nice and fun okay <laughs> So that's what I was talking about. I really, really love this stuff for whenever I want to do like just a little extra, you know, just a, a, just a little extra, just a little extra conversation, something, something a little more to get you talking, something a little more to get you looking. Okay, maybe this will not get you looking, but this will get heads shifting and turning it. <laughs> I'm doing too much today, but you guys get what I'm talking about. I just really wanted to show you guys how a colored pencil can just take your look from zero to hero. Literally hero. Okay guys, so lashes are on. Extra. Okay. For the lip combo, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this pencil. This is also NYX. Okay. This is NYX, same stay on, glide on. This is in the shade Red Tape. It's literally a red lip liner. And then I'm gonna use the lip um, from Maybelline. This is their Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade, it's in the shade Own Your Empires. This is shocking. I'm not even joking. This is literally my real reaction. Looking at myself on my viewfinder, it is so pretty. It's just a look that I envisioned. I mean, you can never go wrong with a red lip. I can't see, I have to go and put on my wig, but because this is not even making me want to leave, see? Oh, thank you, Ma. Thank you, Dad, for giving birth to me. I'm so grateful to you guys. This beauty. I'm so grateful for you guys okay guys so this is the finished look isn't this giving Christmas 
comment down below is what else screams Christmas more than this combo <laughs> so this is the finished look I love the fact that I paired it with the green liner it just brings the Christmas spirit into the look and that's exactly the kind of vibe I was going for I was giving you something that you can use for the holiday season but also giving you full face makeup tips okay okay <laughs> Um, comment down below if you like the look also comment down below let me know if this is something that you're gonna try um, give the video a huge thumbs up if you liked it I'd love for you guys to do that and also please subscribe if you found this video helpful which means that you're gonna find a lot more of my videos helpful okay so subscribe and become a part of the family because there's a lot of tutorials and a lot more coming your way so please, if you love this tutorial and you want to see a lot more tutorials like this, then please subscribe to the channel and become a part of the family. Turn on the bell button so you don't miss any video, any upload, okay? Turn on the bell button so you don't miss any upload um, that goes up on this channel. And also please follow me on Instagram, Akusia Benkene. That's pretty much the one platform that I post a lot of makeup content aside YouTube. So if you want makeup, beauty, skincare, all of that jazz, Please, it's gonna be on my Instagram. So, Akusia Benhene, right there. So, yes, guys, I'm gonna go away now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, also, every other product that I feel like I should link down below, I will. But whenever I don't link something, I don't link something down below. It's probably because I missed it. So, you could comment and then remind me or tell me that you need a link to so so and so and i'll provide it for you so so yes guys that's it for the look i'm gonna go away now thank you guys so much for watching i love you as always and i'll see you guys in my next video happy holidays happy holidays happy holidays <laughs> bye guys i'll see you guys in my next one bye Time of the year now, you got people falling in love. It brings you good cheer now when that mistletoe is.